Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate welcome tweet on Twitter using Socinator. Welcoming targeted users on Twitter is a great way to engage them. Let's start with the account manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the account. To do that, right click on your account and hit go to tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Twitter through Socinator. Let's go to the welcome tweet tab. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to tweet a number of people within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for welcome tweet activity. The first one is welcome tweet. So if you hover in this area where you type, you can see the format. So username and then tweet text. Let's say you want to tag a specific username on Twitter. Let's say Elon Musk and just say welcome. You may clear using the clear all button over here and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Choose the right file, let's say welcome for example, and click open. And it's uploaded successfully. When you're done, click save. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should tweet other users. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use like slow with an average daily activities of 17, medium with 37, fast with 65, or super fast with 85. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings over here. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Twitter user is tweeted. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after tweeting to the number of users you set in number of messages per job. Number of messages per job will allow you to specify the number of Twitter users you want to tweet per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of users to tweet per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max message per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep tweeting users even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide a start and end time let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click Add. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's call it Twitter Welcome and click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing Twitter Welcome. The next tool is User Filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to tweet on Twitter. For example, if you want to target English-speaking users, then check this box. User has only English characters in bio or username. You may also specify the minimum number of tweets of the user. Next, you can specify the minimum and maximum numbers of the followers and followings of the user you want to tweet. Speaking of followers and followings, we also have follow ratio, which is ratio of followers and followings. We can specify a follow ratio greater than or smaller than a specific number. Next, you can specify the minimal number of characters of the user bio. Speaking of user bio, you can specify the words that should not be in the user bio username or name by checking this box. So separate each word with a comma. Let's say you don't want to tweet to users with politics or government. Then type in this area. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking that button and choosing the right file. Click open. So it's uploaded successfully. Click save when you're done. The next one is the opposite of the previous one. So words that should be in the user bio, username, or name. Let's say you want to target users who are into pets, cats, or dogs. Type in this area, separate each word with a comma. You may edit or delete this in the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. When you're done, click save. Next, you can specify how active the user is. So user tweeted within the last, let's say, two days. Next is user is not following this account if you want to skip followers. 
Next, if you want the user to have a profile picture. Next, you can skip private users, muted users, and finally filter user based on verification. So you can skip either verified users or those who are not verified. Finally, the last configuration category is manage blacklisted users. Blacklisted users are the Twitter profiles you do not want the software to interact with. In this case, Socinator will not tweet blacklisted users when the box is checked. So this can be either a private blacklist, which is actually a blacklist that belongs to a specific Twitter account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start tweeting users, let's scroll up and hit the save button, success, and click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating welcome tweet on Twitter using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop-down button and select Twitter. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to poster tab and select welcome tweet on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Twitter welcome tweet. For welcome tweet, let's use the same welcome message from earlier. Click open and click save after uploading. For job configuration, an average daily activities of 17 should be okay. So let's select slow. For user filters, let's target English speaking users and user has profile image and skip private users. Finally, let's skip blacklisted users. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Twitter accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, check the box of the account and click save. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where we can see that we have successfully created our Twitter welcome tweet campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.